grass at all. I remain your host, Ellie, from Right Daily Health Foundation. Welcome to Right Daily Natural Health TV, where we have to combine disease and ailments with natural working privately. This morning, I have a wonderful topic to discuss with us. I tried this. I was male and female. It's come across everyone, especially when they are passing in age. Hydritis is the a is the stiffness of the joint, is an inflammation of the joints. It do happen anywhere our knee, it's happen on the legs, it can happen on the different joints of the body. Hydritis commonly happen in men in women. At least over two-thirds of women have what we call hydritis more than a male male. Now, hydritis, like I said, is an inflammation of the joints. Now, how do we know if you have hydritis? There are some symptoms that we get that we that we observe when we have hydritis. You see that we have stiffness of the bone, go from the knee, go from the ankle. Both from the, 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 the shoulder, all the joints, the all, maybe swelling of the of, of the joints. When you are having swelling of the joints, then that means the, you, you can easily say you have you have a, what we call an arthritis. These are the symptoms. Or maybe we have body pain in the in, in, in the bone. These are the signs of Hydritis. Now, what are the causes of this hydritis? There's a lot of factors that cause hydritis. I would say number one, age. As we are advancing in age, age causes maybe by the time you are getting from 50 years and above, you started complaining of different joint bones, joint swell up. So some people the joint area will swell up that it will have a fluid. Then another cause of uh, hydritis is hereditary. Some people hereditary, uh, is a family from family history. Maybe the paternal or the maternal have the such of cases like that. Then another cause of uh, hydritis is changes. This one happens in women, in female rather. It happens due to the changes of hormones. Changes in their hormones. That's what makes it to be make, make it to be very cross on, uh, uh, on women because about two to two third of women complain about it because due to changes in their hormones. You know, women have what we call we use more casual than men, in, especially in terms of breastfeeding, especially in our menstrual cycle and monthly menstrual cycle, then especially in terms of pregnancy. So it's more prone, prone in a female gender than a, a male gender. Then another factor that causes arthritis is what we call our diet. The diet, the diet we eat. Maybe there's a, there's excess of uh, fats. That's why if you are obese, if you are obese, definitely there will be arthritis. In the size of one or two of hydritis. Now that's why it's good that another factor is, I, like I said, is about our diet. We need to we need to watch our diet. We need to know what we are taking in and out of our mouth. That's why we say let our food be our medicine, and our medicine be our food. If you are taking too much of caffeine, definitely it will affect our bone. Then maybe we come that one way or the other we have the adverse effects. Then another cause is that if we lack exercise, I it doesn't need too much of sitting down or inactive. We must be active always. All these joints, all these bones must be active. So lack of uh, in uh, uh, lack of exercise cause arthritis. Now these are these, these these are the causes. These are the things, the few uh, things we can say about the causes of this arthritis. Now, are there any ways 
out of this psychiatric. Of course, there is a way out. Now, how can how, what are the cure and is it curable? Of course, it is not if hydratis has not been degenerate the bone. I mean the bone from the knee, from the joint. Of course, it can be cured. Now, how do we go about it? Now, number one thing is no, no one thing is we need to do exercise, like I said, because it's earlier before lack of exercise. Because we need to move our joints each every minute, every hour. And for example, you need exercise. You need to be very active. Now, if you are sitting down in a in a in one place for for long and you are not being your body joints, your body bone is not being massively moving up, there's no how we explain what we call joint stiffness. And when you explain joint fitness in a, when you explain joint fitness, it is a sign of a, what we call arthritis. Now, before I go on, we have different types of arthritis. We have, but we have two major. We have postoperative arthritis, then we have rheumatoid arthritis. These rheumatoid arthritis, they are the ones that are major. We have a lot of different arthritis, one from the bone, we have from the ankle, we have from the finger. But this one, they are the major types of arthritis. Now, if someone has OCS, Osteal arthritis, what will you feel? Now you will feel the red, you will feel the pain from the ball, from the knee ball, from the joint. Sometimes when it has been degenerated, I mean the bone, you will see that the, the, the bone from the knee will be will shift. That's when you will see many people they say they want to do surgery of the knee. Then now what are the signs for the rheumat rheumatoid arthritis? Arthritis from the joints, you will see what we call them. We if we have a fluid retention, there will be fluid retention, and you will see you will see the, 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 the redness. The redness, the place will be very red, and there will be swelling up. Then it will be it will swell up. Now these are the sign of the rheumatoid. Now what are the ways that, like I said earlier on, number one thing is exercise. You move our body. If you sit down for like two, three hours, then you can stand up and stretch your body, stretch the muscles, stretch the bone, because inactive cause the stiffness of the bone. Then another thing is making use of what we call bromelain. Now, bromelain, we can get bromelain in a, all the medicine in the in the in the chemist, but instead of using those drugs. Why not embrace this natural uh, way of using the of getting bromelain? Through use of pineapple, you can get bromelain from pineapple. Now, how do you do it? Get unripe pineapple, one unripe pineapple, wash it very well with the back, with the head, then cut it into pieces, then get what we call ginger. Ginger has anti inflammatory uh, uh, component in it that helps the inflammation of the joints, inflammation of the bones that give us arthritis, that give us this pain. Now, when you add it with that unripe uh, pineapple, then you can easily get what we call a uh, bitter cola too. Bitter cola is very, very good. It has, it has an antioxidant, antioxidant effect. Now, when you combine these three things together, you boil them, you take a cup in the morning, a cup in the night, or preferably if it is very, if it's a severe case, you can take a cup one, uh, three times daily. Why not try it like two, three, two to three weeks and we enjoy the effect of promoting, like I've said. Then we have a lot of fruits that are good for that. Then like I said, ginger, if you don't want to take, if you, you can even use ginger, like a therapy, you can match a ginger. Ginger is another good uh, way out, that another effective, the natural way out that we can use in uh, in combat the arthritis. Now you can match a ginger, the raw ginger, get it match. Then you can place it on your ankle or the place that is paining you. After you are matching, you place it on that place. It can be the knee, it can be on the joints. It can be the shoulder anywhere. 
place that thing, get a, a nylon, a white nylon, and cover it after you might have spread the ginger on it. Then use a rope to tie it. You can do it that overnight. Then by so doing that, you are trying to do, you will do it therapeutically, then by doing that, you will see that the inflammation, the swelling from the joints will gradually be reducing. Then another one is onion is very, very good. Onion is a, it, it has this sensation and it's very, it's a, it's a, it has antioxidant uh, components it needs to. We can, by doing, by using of onion, we can boil our onion or we can blend it in a blender, get a hot onion, blend it in a blender, don't put water. Then try to see, try to try to get the uh, sieve after you might have blended it without putting water. Then you can extract the water uh, by sieving it. Then you can take it with honey. It's very very good. Another way out, another natural things that you can use. You can make use of garlic. Garlic is very very good. Now with all these things, then I've told us about exercise. Then. We should, another one we can embrace, we should embrace fiber, fruit that has, that has fiber. Because I've told us the causes of uh, uh, hydritis, I told us that it can be from maybe we are obese. Now, by taking fruits that has fiber, number one, like uh, cabbage, it has fiber, yeah, it's very, very good. Like, like, uh, like watermelon, it's very good like uh, what they call it now pineapple like i said is very good then we can make use of carrots they are very good let's eat fruits that uh, that is of fiber by taking a fiber fruit is we aim our it can help in weight loss and definitely when there is a weight loss we will reduce our body mass of course there will be no issue of arthritis then another one, another natural way out is we should cut the red meat, taking of the red meat. Taking of the red meat is not good for our health if you are the kind of person that has what we call arthritis. Red meat is not good. We should embrace white meat. Red meat like cow meat is not good for our health because it has what we call uric acid. And the more we bring in this uric acid into our body, the more and the tendency of having arthritis. These are the solutions, these are natural ways we can go about and we enjoy wellness and we enjoy sadness and we see low and behold up each day that we are doing this thing, we see that we we'll say bye bye to arthritis. Thank you very much. Like I said, for writing the foundation, you can click our subscribe button, you can click our like button, and you can click the notification in case you know when we are online. I remain your host. See you next time. Thank you very much.